Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Jessica Jones episode number three, aka it's called Whiskey. In this episode, a lot of things happen. You have Jessica Jones who is trying to discover how Kilgrave survived. And by doing so, she might have found something that can stop him. And you have her also trying to prove that Hope, the NYU student who got kidnapped by um, Kilgrave and who was tortured and manipulated by him, trying to prove to everybody that she's not a psycho, that she was actually forced to do this by somebody with powers. Because nobody believes her. Everybody thinks she's a crazy nut job who hears voices in her head and she killed her parents. But she's trying to prove to them that there is a man out there who has these powers to influence people to make them, to make them do whatever he, they want. But nobody believes her. Which is weird because they live in a world where a portal in the sky opened up and the aliens came out and tried to take over the world. But yet, they can't believe a man with powers to control people's minds. I don't understand what's the problem with that. That's just weird. I mean, if if I lived in a world where I and a portal opened up in the sky and aliens came out, you can tell me anything. I'll believe it now. You can say, there's a man who could turn into a peacock. I'll believe you. Because a portal in the sky opened up and aliens came out. Why not a, why not a peacock man? Why not? But nobody believes her. They think she's some crazy nut job who killed her parents. So Jessica's trying to prove to, to the world. But she's trying, she trying to do it undercover. Because she doesn't want Kilgrave to know what she's doing. But other people get involved and, and things take a turn. Also in this episode... Jessica finally meets Kilgrave. Yep, they had their first confrontation. I mean, they don't fight or anything, but it's, it's easy to have him. Because he, see, Kilgrave doesn't really fight. He has other people fight for him. And makes other people do things for him because he can control them. Which is just totally messed up. Every time you see him, or if, knowing he's there, it, just, it gives off a, a creepy, creepy vibe. Holy mother. And on a happier note, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones meet up with each other because they find out about one another. Luke Cage finds out that Jessica Jones has powers. Jessica Jones finds out that Luke Cage has powers and they say, hey, we have had sex with regular people. What it would be like if we had sex Knowing what we can do to each other without hurting each other. Because last time they were having sex, Luke Cage was trying to hold back. He was holding back. And she was probably holding back too. So this time they're saying, we could just cut loose. We both have powers. We both can take it. So let's see what we can do. And that's what they do. They have a whole lot of sex in this, in this episode. Yeah. They have a whole lot of sex. They, they try out everything. But, even though they're coming together, there still is a secret between them that Jessica that Jessica is hiding. That Luke Cage trying to figure out what it is, but she doesn't want to tell him what it is because if she tell him it she might lose him and it, and a whole lot of bad stuff might happen because of this. And this and again, this is all because of Kilgrave. Oh he is the most creepiest villain I've ever seen on TV or in movies. Again, another great episode. It's like these episodes just are getting better and better. The story is still being told. I am still going on for the journey, but each episode seems to improve. I don't know how it's doing it, but it's, it's, it's amazing. Holy crap. Again, I'm saying it again. Just watch the show for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a whole lot of fun watching it. Everything about this about this series so far has been great for me. I can't think of anything bad right now. I want to say something like bad about it just to balance it out, but I don't really have anything I didn't like. Not really. I mean, other than the fact that people can't you know, accept a man who has power to control people, they can't accept that. That's kind of weird. But other than that, I'm on board. I'm on board. Another great episode for me. I'm starting to sound a little one note about this, but it is what it is. I'm enjoying the show. I'm having fun watching the show. And I'm really loving the show. 
Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Jessica Jones. Are you enjoying it just as much as me? If if you're not enjoying it, t tell me that too. I like to hear somebody else's opinion about it. Somebody else's op opinion about it. So, that's all I got to say about that. So, just give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am... The Ninja Rabbit. A peace out. A peoples.